Hello, Murray Newlands with Search Engine Journal here in San Jose at SMX with Marcus from Search Metrics. What do you guys do? We are we are having the best enterprise SEO platform in the world. It's called Search Metrics Suite. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the common mistakes people make with Hummingbird. So, what are those? And the problem with Hummingbird is. Um, the people, they, they got it wrong because people believe that it's just a change within the SERPs, that, that Google is adding more knowledge graph, uh, Google is just answering some questions, but it's more complicated because the real background of Hummingbird is that Google tries to understand the meaning of a query. So if you have queries with the same meaning, but they are different, uh, in the past Google delivered different results. And what we did is we made a study recently where we found out that before Hummingbird and, and now uh, the, the number of unique URLs decreased by 6.5%. So I will present that at the SMX in my presentation on, on, on Thursday. Um, but it's, it's pretty interesting. So in the past it was about diversity. It was really about like having um, many URLs, diversity for the user, but now Google is understanding um, what's on the URL and and that's why it's, it's, um, it seems that, that we will have a higher competition in, in the future because if it's about less URLs, uh, uh, the content becomes much more important then. So, okay, um, armed with that information, what should people do? People should think about their content. They should think about how can they answer the questions that the people have in mind um, according to their topic. They should try a very holistic approach, not just you know having thin content and trying to sell something. It's more about um, fulfilling the, the needs of the user. And if, if you're holistic, you get found for many terms at the same time, and then, then this is the real success. A creatively inclusive content. Try and include as many variations of what people are looking for, or no? It's 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 not about. Uh, in the past, it was about keyword density and keyword stuffing and all that stuff. Today, it's it's more about thinking about what are the typical questions that the user has in mind according to my topic, and then just try answer these questions and try to to have as much support needed in, in, in all these different sales stages. And this is this is what I mean. It's not it's not about you know putting keywords on the side. It's it's more about answering questions and then you have all the keywords that you need, all the synonyms, you, you have it then already. It's that's pretty simple. Who have you seen doing a great job of this? Ah, great job is, and this is so funny because, in my perspective, the best optimized, optimized site in, in the world is uh, Wikipedia. Okay. So Wikipedia is always fresh. It's uh, it's continuously updated. Um, it, it looks static, but it's not. It's it's always updated from the users, and it has a great internal linking structure. It has um, holistic content, and this is this is a I think um, just a good site to look at uh, and to optimize their own page, but not stealing the content from Wikipedia. If people want to find out more information and connect with you, how do they do that? So the best thing is to uh, connect with me personally is uh, via my, my uh, Twitter account. So my Twitter handle is at Marcus Tober. So you can just send me um, um, uh, tweets and I will um, respond to these, to these tweets. Marcus, thank you very much. Have a great day. Thanks, Mario. Thanks. Mario with Search Engine Journal here at SMX in San Jose. Well, see you next time.